When youth becomes old photos, old photos become memories, we will eventually stand at the fork in the road, loneliness, uncertainty, and disappointment come one after another. Then God will open a window, which is called the door of growth. The wolf had experienced too much on the road of growth, and it had also been sad, but later, after meeting the man, it rekindled the light of life, when the snowstorm came, the mountains were white with snow. Looking at the silvery land. People's mood was extraordinarily beautiful. Ranger Stepan was stationed here all year round, his main job was to take care of the jungle here, to prevent the trees from being cut down for no reason, so that the greenery could be effectively continued for many years. Stepan was very fond of this job, and he was dedicated to it. Stepan was on patrol when suddenly a skinny wolf appeared in front of his eyes. It was winter, and although the weather was a bit cold, it was not as cold as Stepan's heart at the moment. When he saw the wolf, he was surprised at first and then frightened by the wolf in front of him. Stepan did not dare to move forward easily. He was not sure what the wolf in front of him wanted to do, Stepan stayed where he was and did not leave immediately. Not only because of the fear he felt inside after seeing the wolf, but also because he inadvertently noticed that the wolf was not in a good state when he was observing it, and it seemed to be shaking all over, just like him. With the only remaining courage in his heart, Stepan took a step forward. He found that the wolf had no intention of leaving, and had turned into an appearance of having something to ask for. Finally Stepan's guard dropped a little, and he looked the wolf up and down. Then he found that it looked thinner than the average wolf. Perhaps it had been the late winter, so it was not easy for the wolf to find food, and it was only because it had been starving for a long time that it had become like this. Since it found Stepan. The wolf's eyes had not shifted to other places, perhaps in its heart it did not want to hurt Stepan at this moment, but wanted to beg him to give itself some food, Stepan had been walking in the forest for a long time. And he probably knew something about the different manifestations of various animals. At this moment, he also generally understood the wolf's request. Stepan didn't want to see the wolf die of hunger. So he slowly took out some food from his pocket and then gave the wolf some water that he was carrying with him. When the wolf saw the food, there was instantly more light in its eyes, and the gaze it gave to Stepan also looked much milder. Looking at the food delivered in front of it, the wolf was a little hesitant at first, but after a little hesitation, the wolf walked forward and ate it with a big mouthful. It seemed that the wolf was really hungry, and it ate the food in such a hurry. As if it was worried about these things being snatched away by other animals, and it ate extremely fast. When Stepan saw this kind of greedy appearance of the wolf in front of him, his heart instantly felt warmer. The wolf's appetite was very good. And it ate a lot of the food that Stepan had sent to it in a while, but the rest of the food it suddenly closed its mouth and never enjoyed it by itself, and then it took all the remaining food away, looking at the wolf who left alone. Stepan also hurriedly walked away from there. Perhaps it was because they met for once, the wolf deeply felt Stepan's love for animals. So for a long time afterwards, Stepan often met the wolf, and even several times when Stepan passed by there. He could see that the wolf had been waiting nearby for a long time. For the sake of the wolf, Stepan deliberately prepared a little more food. In this way, in the extremely cold weather, the wolf's stomach could be slightly filled up. Although Stepan was a kind-hearted and enthusiastic person, his behavior was still opposed by people in the neighborhood. After all, wolves were not kind animals, and there had been cases of wolves scourging human beings before. For this point, Stepan had also considered many times. He also wanted to give up feeding the wolf, but then he thought of other aspects, if he did not feed the wolf, once the wolf was hungry, it would directly harm the people in the village, and then everyone's safety would be threatened. The jungle was occasionally frequented by various animals, but wolves did not appear very often. Stepan couldn't figure out why the wolf would be here for such a long time, Stepan did not welcome this uninvited guest from his heart. But he was worried that it would do something to hurt others, so Stepan did not listen to the villagers' opinions, but insisted on continuing to feed the wolf. 
but Stepan was glad that he had dealt with the wolf many times. And the wolf had never taken the initiative to do anything to hurt human beings, even near dangerous moves had never occurred. The wolf was very obedient and very well behaved, and would leave every time as long as it begged for food. Only occasionally it ate a little. And it even did not enjoy it alone many times, but packed the food away completely. With doubt and confusion, Stepan was also curious about where the wolf went. Once Stepan placed the food in front of the wolf, it once again skillfully took it away and then ran away into the distance. Originally Stepan wanted to find out what was going on, but the speed of the wolf was too fast, so how could Stepan run past it with his two legs? Even though there were many questions inside, Stepan could only digest them silently, the pace of spring was fast and furious, and winter would be completely over by the time it appeared. Several months passed quickly, the earth's ice and snow had long since melted, and everything in the world began to appear alive. The weather had warmed up, Stepan liked this mild climate, he breathed deeply into the sun rose, everything was so beautiful. A new day was starting again, and Stepan couldn't help but think of the wolf in his heart, he hadn't seen it for a long time. And wondered how it was doing now. Today was still a day of work as usual, Stepan once again started the patrol task. When he came to the place where he met with the wolf, the wolf appeared in front of Stepan's eyes, and behind the wolf there were two wolf cubs. The moment he saw the wolf, Stepan finally realized that the wolf had taken the food away mainly for the two cubs. After a winter's baptism, the two wolf cubs were already capable of taking care of themselves, and they were growing up strongly. The wolf had an inseparable relationship with Stepan, because the wolf would rarely appear here, if not for the sudden birth here, perhaps the wolf would have already left for the most familiar place with the package in its belly. For this unfamiliar territory, the wolf already had a hard time, with the severe winter and the extreme lack of food, so it almost lost its confidence in the future. It was only after meeting Stepan that it regained its gas light of life. The first time it met Stepan, the wolf was already very weak. But thinking of its two young babies, it had to ask Stepan for help. Fortunately, Stepan had compassion for it, so he let the wolf be saved, and he invariably saved the lives of the two cubs. The wolf was especially grateful to Stepan for the help he gave it, and later. When the weather gradually became warmer, it could finally find some food by itself, so that it would not bother Stepan anymore and could also take good care of its babies, looking at the healthy wolf and the two cute wolf cubs beside it, Stepan felt very excited. As if the two cubs were also his friends. Now that winter has passed and spring has come again, the wolf decided to return to its homeland with the two cubs. At this moment, it came to Stepan to say goodbye to him. In addition to telling Stepan that it was safe. It also wanted Stepan's blessing, alright, that's all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to likes and comments if you like. We will continue to bring you more touching stories about animals. See you next time.